Welcome to Awakening the Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Christian Strang. I'm a mystic, metaphysical psychologist and best-selling Amazon author of 13 books. And in 2008, I devoted my life to the divine when a health crisis turned almost dying on a twin bed in the middle of nowhere, Brazil, turned into a spiritual awakening. And I came out of that experience with healing and psychic gifts that I had never had before. And since that time, I have served thousands of souls, primarily women and families, supporting them in living a spirit-led, prosperous, expansive life. And of course, since 2020, our focus has been on creating our own personal heaven on earth, our own golden age, as we continue to experience the timeline split. And we have two very different realities being played out, well, many different realities, um, but collectively, We have the third and fourth dimension living out their experience. How do you know if you're in the third or fourth dimension? You care about politics. That would be your your number one clue that you're still in the third and fourth dimension. And then the fifth dimension are those of us dedicated to the divine, to living as our higher selves in form and really creating the new path forward, the new paradigms, the new ways of experiencing abundance and health and radiance and love and union and all of the amazing things that earth offers us. So welcome to your October, 2024 Oracle reading. October may be low key, like the most intense (laughs) month of the year that everyone was putting all their focus on April. Um, October seems to be carrying the power of transformation with it and the power of a lot of disclosure. If you've been um, had your eyes open at any level, you're going to see a lot of disclosure happening from everything to the major financial industries, to what's happening with the dollar, to what's happening in Hollywood and with celebrities and also with politics. So really exciting disclosure happening across the board. We'll continue to see more of that. And of course, I'm sure some fun shenanigans, but that is not what this podcast is about. This podcast episode is about giving you the divine guidance, the guidance from source so that you can navigate this time with ease and grace and abundance and prosperity and that you can live in the fifth dimensional frequency, not the third and fourth dimensional frequency, which is a lot of drama and hubbub and and competition and ego and all the things that are part of the human experience, but really are falling by the wayside as we live more as our higher selves, our goddess self, our God self in form. So Today's episode is brought to you by the Sacred Spirituality Coach Certification. This is not just a healing modality that I was gifted and given in 2015. It is a highest timeline accelerator. So this is a six-month training and certification where you can become a spiritual coach and healer. This is a off-the-grid business in a box for those of you that are on the awakening path and are ready to really step into your work as a healer. And for those of you that are already working as healers, this will give you a modality that will take you out of the third and fourth dimensional healing modalities and take you into a golden age healing modality that will bring you not only prosperity, but support you and your clients in having lifelong lasting And I'm going to say this even more clearly, multiple dimensions of lifelong lasting. So we are healing at all dimensions of consciousness with this modality. Right now, we have a special through October 20th. If you are interested in learning more, go to sacred-spirituality.org. Go to click on certifications, click on sacred spirituality coach certification. If you'd like the bonuses that are available through October 20th, DM me, message me specifically. We'll tune in and see if this training is actually aligned for you and will support you in your highest life stream. Of course, all of our work is encoded with the highest light frequencies and with the source light frequencies. And there is a certain gathering of souls that I am here to support with this work. So we can always tune in and make sure it's a vibrational match. I learned to do this after many years of just serving whoever came to me and realizing that sometimes other realms and other beings come to kind of check out and see what the light workers are doing. So now I really like to make sure that I am serving those who are true light beings that are really here for the transformation and the elevation of their consciousness, the expansion of their consciousness, not just in this timeline, but in all timelines and dimensions. So if you are feeling what I'm sharing right now, feel free to reach out to me directly after checking out sacred-spirituality.org, clicking on certifications, clicking on sacred spirituality coach certification. So now let's talk 
what your focus is for the month of October. So for a lot of years, I was guided by um, Western astrology influences about, you know, we had new moon rituals and full moon rituals, and we had all these different um, ways that we were utilizing the Western astrology to guide us. And it's a fantastic divination tool. However, as I've continued to grow and expand and become more enlightened on my path, I have been guided to go source only. So really being guided by source. And what I love about this is so often the guidance from source may line up with some of what astrologers say is happening or um, other others who are using different divination methods um, to tune into what's happening on earth and what's going on. Um, but for me and my journey, really important that I become as fully source-led, spirit-led as possible. So with that, we're talking about what is important for you in October, not just from a Western interpretation of planetary movements, not just from interpretations of a um, of other divination methods or what other humans are saying, but really from the source perspective, what do we really need to focus on in the month of October that will allow us to have the most transcendent experience? And I don't mean transcendent of all things. I mean, transcendent of the third and fourth dimension. What's going to allow us to have, I'm going to use just very plain terms, the best experience we can have here. Because we know that no matter what is going on in the collective of consciousness, which is a mirror of the individual consciousness, no matter what's happening, there are those who always thrive and there are those who suffer on earth um, and on third and fourth dimensional earth. We're trying to change that game, right? With the fifth dimension, we really have the opportunity to step out of victim consciousness, step out of suffering and recognize that we can thrive no matter what is happening in our life. So this message for you for October is coming to you from that place I asked, tuning into source, what is it that my community, the souls I'm here to serve, those listening, those in our email community, those in our podcast community, what is the message? What are the actions they need to take? What do they most need to know so they can have the best time during this intense month of October as we're really in some, some huge timeline splits? You're just going to see that third and fourth dimension um, and that fifth dimension just Again, it, it will be, and it, it has been like this for some time, where we can't even see each other, right? We can't even come together. We're trying, but we can't because the vibrational differential is so vast. So if people, places, things fall off from your experience, that's nothing to get too upset about. It's really just part of what's happening energetically. But how do you keep your vibration in that fifth dimensional frequency? When I say fifth dimension, what am I talking about? That's the connection to source. That's the connection to love. How do you allow your frequency to stay there? Because there's so many things trying to pull you into the third and fourth dimension, right? Get upset about this. Get worked up about this. Oh, this politician is going to save you. Never going to happen. It's never happened. Not ever going to happen. Um, this other being has, you know, all the answers or whatever it is. Any time we find ourselves getting distracted and getting pulled out of our knowing, our connection to source, what can we do? So that's what today's Oracle reading is going to support you with. It's coming from our sold out title, Radical Abundance and Radical Times. I love you, all of those, all those of you who have messaged me and said, when is this coming out? I'm working on a version two. I'm, I'm going to get it to you, I promise. Um, but this came out in 2021. It was a totally sovereign release. We just released it through an Indiegogo or a GoFundMe before GoFundMe was compromised um, campaign and we sold out. So um, this is not available anywhere else. And I'm really excited to bring you this transmission today to assist you. So I want to invite you to, if you can, you're not driving, um, you can just relax into the message that we want to bring to you today. It is so powerful. This is true vibrational medicine, and it's going to support you in the upliftment of your vibration so that you can really stay connected to the fifth dimension, to source, to love, to who you really are and what you truly came here to do. And if you don't care about any of those things, it's just going to give you the best journey that you can have. I am telling you, if I look at my life pre-2008, forget about it. By the way, 2008 was supposedly this terrible like financial crisis, right? I made more money than I'd ever made. My life got better than it had ever gotten. I was really on my path in a whole new way. So I want to remind you that you know, the worst of times can be happening and you can be thriving if you're in alignment with source. So I look at my own life and the lives of those that I serve, our lives pre-spirit led, bumpy ass ride. 
our life post spirit led. OMG, so much better, even with all the things that happen in a life, even with all the karmic, you know, agreements we've made and experiences we've decided before even coming here that we are going to have so much better than when we were pre-spirit led. So we're going to talk to you today about how you can continue to return your vibration to this higher frequency to assist you and just just having the best time that you can have while you're here. I mean, we're here. We might as well enjoy this ride. And from a place of true, pure enjoyment, not from the disconnected from source, like the addictive enjoyment that those in the third or fourth dimension um, experience. And those of us who are on the path of the fifth dimension and higher can experience as well. We all have a variety of different addictions, whether it's substance or thought, depending on where you're at in your journey. So, you know, as you're in the higher realms and the connection with source, you're going to find that the addictions that show up may be more those thought addictions. If they show up belief addictions, being addicted to like this belief system or whatever it might be, this, this um, matrix of thought. So how do we shift our vibration into a higher frequency when those pieces present themselves? Now, if you're in substance addiction, if you're working with food, which is a, a massive addiction, sugar um, being akin to cocaine and what it does to the brain, if you're in a substance addiction, that's a third and fourth dimensional experience. And there are many tools for that. You also need to address it vibrationally. So no matter where you're at on the addiction scale, the thought scale, the substance scale, no matter where you're at in your addiction to the political scene, the celebrity scene, whatever it is, you can choose in any moment to expand your vibration to a higher frequency that is more in alignment with who you really are. Okay, let's go to our Oracle reading. So if you can have your eyes closed, your hands on your heart, just allow yourself to be in a real meditative state to receive this. If you're not able, if you're driving, if you're somewhere where you need to have your eyes open, then of course, honor that. But if you're able to really drop in more deeply here, you can experience and receive the vibrational message and the vibrational medicine that this transmission has for you. Okay. And this is your guidance for the month of October. And I love this so much. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this, even amidst all the continued expansion and descent that is happening. Okay. Your job is to simply be as kind as you can be to the others around you and keep your focus on your own radiance and love and expansion. I'm going to read that again so that we can all take this in. Your job is to simply be as kind as you can be to others and keep your focus on your own radiance and love and expansion. I feel like it's 11, 11 a.m. right now as I'm recording this. I feel like that's it. We got it. That's your Oracle reading. Your job is to simply be as kind as you can be to others and keep your focus on your own radiance and love and expansion. And may all light beings be free at this divine aligned time of 1111. May all light beings be radiant and filled with love and expansion and joy and peace and prosperity. And so it is. It is so. Okay, we're going to give you more. But that is like the crux of this Oracle reading today. So when you are vibrating in this way, where you're being as kind as you can be to others and you are focused on your own radiance and love and expansion, what happens when you're vibrating in this way and acting in this way and thinking in this way? What happens is, you're going to love this, you are then brought the opportunities, the options, the expansions to live your highest destiny on earth. Now, what do we mean by brought? And yes, we are looking at those who are expecting Prince or Princess Charming or the pile of money to just show up at your doorstep without you taking any actions. Well, of course, this is not impossible. You really do desire to be more of an active participant in living your highest life stream. So when we say brought, we mean it's brought to you through inspired thought. It is brought to you by invitations to join someone or join something. It is brought to you in a dream that you remember crystal clearly 
and you wake up just knowing you must take action for this. It's brought to you through the wisdom of your wise women that you meet with regularly, that you can feel at the core of you is the divine truth that they are speaking into you. It is brought to you sometimes in that it shows up right in front of you. The person asks you to go into partnership or the job is offered to you or the financial freedom lands in your lap or the opportunity to expand with a huge flow of prosperity comes to you. Hear this, ooh, truth bomb incoming. If it's negative about you, it's not yours, dear one. It is coming from some other place and as a thought receive, as a thought receiver, you have either accepted that program that goes, that comes through, but often you discard this. Often you say, well, I'm just going to wait for it to show up. And we are around you shouting and jumping up and down. Well, not really, but we want to create some fun imagery for you. And we're saying, we brought it to you. It's right here for you and all the opportunities in all the ways we have brought it to you. But still you're believing your negative thoughts and not realizing those aren't even yours. Those are just programs. And so you're looking around wondering why the answer that you most desire or the action or the experience isn't right in front of you in form. And we want you to know you have to bring it into form, dear one. You must take the inspired actions that we have given to you. You must research and educate yourself so that you can break out of matrices that no longer serve you. You must ask that person out on a date or to dinner or whatever it is so you can have the experience that you desire. You are a divine being and yet so often you are forgetting that. You're forgetting that what you surround yourself with, what you ingest, what you ingest in your mind and body determines, determines the trajectory that you live. We're reading this one more time for you. You are a divine being. You could not be here watching, listening to this podcast if you were not. It's not like the algorithms are making me readily available. So if you're here, you're a divine being and you're forgetting that. And you're forgetting that what you surround yourself with, what you surround yourself with, what you ingest, what you eat, what you ingest with your mind, what you ingest with your body, including who you're having sex with, determines, determines. I never got this before. Can you see I'm having my own awakening right now? Determines the trajectory that you live. You forget about this. You forget about the thoughts you feed. When you have a negative or fearful thought, do you perseverate on it? Do you let it take you out of your connection with who you really are? Do you believe that that negative thought is true? By the way, it's not. Hmm. When you're in the frequency of who you really are, who you really are, there's nothing, nothing that is stopping you. It is all open doors ahead. And if a closed door comes, you know exactly how to navigate it. It doesn't take you out. It doesn't rock your world. You smile, you nod, you have a hearty laugh and maybe a hearty cry about it. But it does not deter you from only ingesting the highest quality everything in your body mind and then allowing yourself to be unified with the frequency of who you really are, knowing that when you do, you will carry out your highest destiny here on earth. And so it is, sorry, my bracelets hit my desk. So it is, it is so. Are you with me? We're gonna read this paragraph one more time to you. So many truth bombs in this, incredible. So if a closed door comes, you know exactly how to navigate it. It doesn't take you out. It doesn't rock your world. You smile, you nod, you have a hearty laugh and maybe a hearty cry, but it does not deter you from only ingesting the highest quality everything in your body mind and then allowing yourself to be unified 
with the frequency of who you really are, knowing that when you do, you will carry out your highest destiny on earth. I mean, I can't. This is like everything. So many mic drops, so many truth bombs. Incredible. I want you to really like re-listen to this as many times as you need to, to come back to who you really are. Ingesting only the highest quality everything. Organic clothing, organic food and beverage. This kind of content, if you're going to binge or take in any kind of content, taking in this kind of content, what kind of music are you listening to, especially now? Are you aware of the music that you've been programmed to listen to and the codes that it's carrying? It's not here to help you. Popular music, if it's popular, I know. We can have a whole other conversation about that, but we won't. Is it containing higher frequencies? When you do that, you're living your highest destiny on earth. And so it is. It is so. I want that for, for you so, so, so much. I want you to live your highest destiny on earth because it's so much fun. I mean, it's confusing at times. It's definitely when I was going through my awakening in 2008 and when I went through my awakening in 2015 and I went through my awakening in 2020. These are the major ones, not to mention like the little ones that come along the way. So confusing. Like, what the heck are you telling me? Everything I believed before this is bullshit. What? The cognitive dissonance is real. But I'm more committed and more devoted to my becoming than I am to my ego or my mind or being right or knowing it all or whatever the attachments are. So you will have to let go of whole schools of thought, whole things that you believed People you believed in. OMG, the people that I believed in. Ay, ay, ay. That's hard. That was, that's been the hardest part for me. And it may be something else for you. But in order to live your highest destiny, which BT dubs is what you're here to do anyway. Like enjoy the ride of earth and also live who you really are. I mean, it's way more fun than living who you're programmed to be or living from your ego or living from your wounded self or living from your mind. I mean, I did plenty of that in this lifetime. I'm sure we all have, right? Oh, the victim. Oh, I loved being the victim. It's so like juicy and like this really like distorted, icky way, right? Like, oh, I loved being the victim. And I come from a long line of victims, you know? It's like, so like, you just don't have any responsibility because you're the victim, you know, it's, I get it. It's, I, I've been there, I've lived it. It still shows up in very fascinating, interesting ways in my life and little tendrils, because this is important to recognize. You may heal that victim mentality in one area of your life, but then you get into a relationship or you have a new expansion in your work or whatever it is. And then you notice a tendril, oh, there's that old, it's showing up here. So what do we do? We, do? we use our practices. We make sure we're ingesting only the highest vibration, everything, so that we can come back into alignment with who we really are. Your vibration is everything because it informs your physical reality wholly and fully. All right, beloved ones, always a joy to share with you. And I'm so grateful to all of you that are receiving this message, that have the eyes to see and the ears to hear, that have the heart to feel the transmission that we are giving to you and that we are bringing to you sometimes in my imperfect way, my perfectly imperfect way. But we know that you have received this transmission. We know that you have received the codes, the light codes, the knowings that you most needed so that you can leave this content experience and you can step into your highest destiny here on earth because in any moment you can do that. You can fuck it all up, like all the way up, right? Like all the way up, raising my hand, done it so many times. And in this next moment, you can choose to reunite with your higher self and recommit to your path and be redevoted to living your highest destiny. All right, my loves, if this podcast episode was of benefit to you, please consider sharing it on your social media, sharing it in places that it may not be found. So share it on your Telegram channel, your Instagram, your Facebook, your whatever, whatever, me, we, wherever you're at, 
send it out to a text to your group of light beings that you know for inspiration and enlightenment. Maybe you know everything that I shared with you today, but you just needed that little boost and you know someone else needs that boost and that reminder as well. If you feel the alignment with myself and my spiritual team and you'd like to work more deeply with us, consider becoming one of our sacred spirituality coaches and healers. Again, this is not just a healing modality. It is a timeline jump and you'll then have access to one-on-one -on -one sessions with me and you'll be part of my inner circle of support and my inner circle of guidance and counsel and direction and expansion. We meet with our loves regularly and we continue to download those light codes to assist those who are in our swirl. So it's very important that I am serving those who are most vibrating in harmony, are part of one of my soul pods and um, can benefit the most from this work. So if you believe that is you, go to sacred-spirituality.org and check me out. We've got a new spiritual healer assessment for free. You can go through, tune in. What kind of spiritual healer are you here to be? And is something that we're offering a match for that? And if it is, reach out to me and let's make it so. Sacred-spirituality.org is where you find all of our freebies and goodness and and all the things that will connect you. Um, we're going to be having a new site um, sort of refresh. I just had the best photo shoot of my life. Thank you, Natalie Kate. Incredible a goddess experience. It's so much fun to bring the visions that you have into physical form and see them manifested. And this photo shoot was most definitely that. How can I uh, most express my heart, my goddess self, my true self, my source self, the light of the divine. How can I most express that in this photo shoot really allowed us to, to capture that in some very beautiful ways. So I can't wait to share more with you on that. If you follow me on social media, you'll start to notice some of those photos trickling in as well. And if you're in my email community, you're definitely going to be seeing those. Um, but very exciting times of expansion as we're all being invited to step more into our God Goddess self and really coming together with our support team, our entourage, our dream team. We've had many names for it over the years that are here to assist us because just like we have non-physical spirit guides, we we also have physical spirit guides. So find your spirit guides, your community, call them in and live your highest destiny here on earth. That is what you are here for. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. This has been Awakening the Podcast and I am your host, Dr. Christian Strang. As always, so much love to you.